The uh, DOE isotope program is focused on the production and distribution of isotopes. Usually critical isotopes, isotopes that are in short supply, um, isotopes that are in high demand with the goal of mitigating uh, U.S. dependence on foreign suppliers or uh, supply chains. Right now we're seeing a, a pretty steady increase in medical isotopes, particularly related to diagnostic imaging and cancer therapy. And consequently, we're also seeing an increase in the stable isotopes that are needed upstream for the fabrication of these targets. The isotope program has sites across the nation. Oak Ridge uh, National Lab uh, hosts the high flux isotope reactor, and that is the highest flux isotope reactor in the world. Brookhaven National Laboratory and Los Alamos National Laboratory both host linear accelerators, proton accelerators that are used for irradiation uh, of targets to produce actinium-225. Actinium-225 is an alpha emitter with a 10-day half-life and it gives off four alpha particles and an alpha particle is a helium atom. And alpha emitters are of interest because alpha emitters travel a very short distance but they give off a huge amount of dose. And we're particularly interested in this for treating patients who have what we call metastatic cancer. We use actinium-225 because of its alpha emissions. We use it for treating various cancers. We have a program here where we have a series of antibodies that we're using to delineate and image pancreatic cancer. These responses are melting away tumors that have been resistant to other therapies, even other beta therapies. So the use of actinium, I believe, is just going to profoundly explode and be used on other platforms in the future. And when we talk about patients who are now failing second, third, fourth line of therapies, I believe their only option could be an alpha-based therapy. As part of a joint trilab effort, we're producing it, and at Oak Ridge, we are chemically separating it from a thorium target from which we are making it from, uh, purifying the material and shipping it out to end users for evaluation. We feel that we can use the, the, the U.S.'s uh, high-energy uh, accelerators to produce in, in roughly 10 days uh, the world's annual supply. Actinium-225 that is produced via the Trilab effort, we plan on submitting a drug master file for that this year. For our work, it's really important that we keep in mind that we're making isotopes that are going to go into a human being. So everything that we do has to take that into consideration. From the, uh, what the materials are made of, how we process them, all the way to the solvents for extraction. We have to keep in mind that this is going to go into a person at every step. We're also looking into other alpha emitting isotopes such as uranium-230. This shares a lot of similar properties as actinium-225 and can be used for similar types of cancer treatments. We're also looking into Auger emitting isotopes such as tellurium-119 as a parent of antimony-119. This is a, a pretty new isotope that would open up new treatment options for other types of cancer as well. One of the uh, more interesting ones uh, is lutetium-177. It's produced in one method by irradiating enriched ytterbium-176 targets. And so a major uh, infrastructure investment by Department of Energy is the stand-up of additional isotope enrichment capabilities so that we can produce the enriched ytterbium-176 targets that we would then irradiate and produce the lutetium-177. So there's a lot of investment going on to increase our capabilities to supply these uh, alpha-emitting isotopes. We are very excited about a number of projects that we have to expand our production capabilities. We're uh, exploring a variety of enrichment technologies. We're ramping up our, our staff and very excited about the future. One of the most important aspects of working with the DOE iStake program is the collaborative nature. For those of us who work in molecular imaging, the ability to access some of the more unusual isotopes and apply them in the context of imaging and or therapy is incredibly important and the DOE really fulfills that mission. While DOE has played a pivotal role in bringing certain isotopes to the market, uh, we ultimately want to see these isotopes thrive without our assistance. And so once the commercial sector can demonstrate that they can produce and supply these isotopes reliably to the, to the market, that's our cue to start ramping down and start transitioning to other initiatives. Uh, we most recently saw this with Strontium-82. 
and germanium 68. This is actually a measure of success for our program to see an isotope um, transition from R&D efforts to the market.